Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 Mew and Taxes Castilian Colonization Campaign. So my plan for this campaign is to obviously colonize, so I'm going to colonize North and South America, and then I'm going to conquer my way around and probably into Africa, and then conquer India as well. And then for Europe, probably what I'm going to do to signify the historical possessions of the Spanish Empire is obviously get the personal unions over Aragon and Portugal, but then I'll probably also try to get personal union over Naples, Milan, and Austria. And then I'll conquer everything else in the Genoa trade node, just so for trade purposes. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like Milan actually lost to Montferrat, which I've never seen that happen, so... I guess there's a first time for everything. Hopefully I can get those provinces back. So that's my plan. So I'm not really going to do a whole lot of conquering in Europe. But everywhere else in the world is, uh, it's mine. It seems Granada is fighting Fez, so they have no troops over here. So I think what I'll do is I'll attack them, and then conquer a bunch of territory from them. And I was looking, and in order to get the restoration of Union CBs on Portugal and Aragon, you need 30 Absolutism. And we start with 24. Okay, so I started centralizing the state, and that shouldn't actually take that long. I'm not sure if you can get it normally anymore, or if you have to do it through the decision, but uh... Yeah, so it seems like I'm not going to ally Portugal to make that quicker. I'd rather not fight Aragon, but... Because they're, they're allied with France. And that would be a little bit too much. I'm losing a bunch of money because of martial law. The only provinces that I have low autonomy in are my old provinces, so I have to wait a bit. Hopefully it's, what, two months away? Otherwise I'm going to have to take a loan. I suppose what I could do is actually lower maintenance. Stop the drilling. Take the next idea. Do I want aristocratic ideas? Cost to fabricate claims. Diplo relations. Yearly legitimacy. This one and this one are horrible. National unrest is decent. Cavalry flanking ability. I suppose is decent. Monthly autonomy change. Maximum centralization. Aren't horrible. And the noble officers, admin efficiency and leaders without upkeep, income from vassals, vassals force limit, contribution. Hmm. I'd rather go trade. I think trade is a better thing. This doesn't go anywhere. The thing is, it only refunds 120 points. I 
I think I'll go naval next. Naval and then exploration. Yeah, because I don't want to go trade naval and then I can't explore until tech 16. And that could be like 1500 before I get tech 16. I don't know the exact dates, but it could be a while. The only thing I like in here that I the only thing that I really like is the diplo relations. Getting rid of it would just put me down to five. I'm at two right now. So I don't think it's that much of a loss. I would lose these three. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. Or those four, actually. Trade instead. Let's take the first idea. I think long term it's better that I don't do trade, that I don't do aristocratic, and I do trade instead. So I'm going to end up moving my capital to Seville. I think that's a better province than Toledo, since it is on the it's a coastal province. It's well situated for CE, I suppose. I just need martial law to expire to uh, go away. So I think France, I'm going to build a spy network in Granada to help when I go to war. So France got out of the Hundred Years War because they gave up a bunch of territory, but then they declared war again? Is that what happened? Oh no, it's the War of the Breton Succession. So, okay, they did get out of the war, and then they got back into a different war. It's interesting. We have an error. Fernando. 442. This peace deal ends 1361. So there's an event where they give me 100 ducats and they get a five year truce, but I think I'm just gonna skip that and then fight them. They have no troops over here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to split my troops in half and drill half of that. That should help with money. I'm going to lose a little bit of ducats, but that's fine. As long as I get a little bit of drilling going on. 
Oh, that's a lot of gold. 200 gold. Was that Bohemia? Death of a Merchant. Get 68 ducats or... Um... I like the prestige. I like 60 ducats better. I'm not going to use the advisor right now. I'm going to take the ducats. Because that enables me to drill both my armies. That ends February. All right, looks like the martial law expired. So I should make a ton of money now. There we go. 12 ducats. That is the power of Castile. Move those ships over. Hungary has no air. Naples has no air. They don't want... They don't want a royal marriage, though. Too many Diplo relations. Negative 50, that's a lot. Why do you have so many relations? Naples? Nobody wants royal marriages. Everybody has too many Diplo relations. I'm going to delete this fort. Actually, yeah. I'm going to make this province one of my development centers, one of my cities. And then Seville, and then Vizcaya. Those three are going to be my development centers. So I'm going to delete that fort, build one over here. Might not do it now, though. Can I get manpower from... Yes. So, they give me... They both give me manpower. They give me ducats. I throw 3,000 over there. Build that fort. I'm going to stop drilling. Looks like they're winning, but it's not much. Unless that's... Okay, Tunis has all the war scores, so this is not Granada's war. I 
I don't think Tunis has a navy. If they do, I could probably just pick them off. Fortunately, these all have fort levels on them. Build another troop. Our truce with the Granada ends. Excellent. Oh, they actually got out of the war. They're done, they took Quetta. Do they even have transport ships? Oh well, let's do Baza. And then declare war. Grab a naval ruler. Puts me over. That's fine. Damn it, I can't take it. I have to take Renata first. Outnumbered. But they have a lot of transports. That's mostly what they have. Yeah, they don't even have any light ships. Just a whole bunch of transports. I'm going to take offensive war supports. Partial military support and... I'm not going to take financial support. Not yet. This is a long battle. There we go, it's turning in my favor. Not that it was never, ever not in my favor. There we go, and I captured a ship. Excellent, so they are stuck. Go ahead and take that fort down there.
Grab a claim on Fez. Start sieging that province as well. Alright, and then I'm going to uh, finish this part here and pick up the next part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.